The theme of much of what I write, fiction as well as non-fiction, is the relationship between power and powerlessness and the endless circular conflict they're engaged in. John Berger, that most wonderful writer, once wrote, never again will a single story be told as though it's the only one. There can never be a single story. There are only ways of seeing. Civil unrest has begun to erupt in the global village. But civil unrest does not only mean marches and demonstrations and protests against globalization. Unfortunately, it also means a desperate downward spiral into crime and chaos and all kinds of despair and disillusionment, which, as we know from history and from what we see unspooling before our eyes, gradually becomes a fertile breeding ground for terrible things, cultural nationalism, religious bigotry, fascism, and of course, terrorism. Nationalism of one kind or another was the cause of most of the genocide of the 20th century. Flags are bits of colored cloth that governments use first to shrink wrap people's brains and then as ceremonial shrouds to bury the dead. loss and losing, grief, failure, brokenness, numbness, uncertainty, fear, the death of feeling, the death of dreaming, the absolute, relentless, endless, habitual unfairness of the world. What does loss mean to individuals? What does it mean to whole cultures, whole people who have learned to live with it as a constant companion? is still deep, the rage still sharp, the tears have not dried, and a strange, deadly war is raging round the world. Yet each person who has lost a loved one surely knows, secretly, deeply, that no war, no act of revenge, no daisy cutters dropped on someone else's loved ones or someone else's children will blunt the edges of their pain or bring their own loved ones back.
time has come, the walrus said. Perhaps things will become worse and then better. Perhaps there's a small god up in heaven readying herself for us. Another world is not only possible, she's on her way. Maybe many of us won't be here to greet her, but on a quiet day, if I listen very carefully, I can hear her breathing.